Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. I want to share with you a story of a cataclysmic event that occurred in my time, the day the sun disappeared for 24 hours. As the principal witness to this event, I will recount what happened during each hour of that fateful day. In the first hour, it started suddenly, without warning. The sun, our life-giving star, vanished from the sky, plunging the earth into darkness. People were in shock, staring up at the black sky, their faces illuminated only by the glow of their screens. During the second hour, panic began to set in. Traffic came to a standstill, while emergency services scrambled to respond to the numerous accidents and incidents. The world's governments urgently convened, trying to make sense of the situation and come up with a plan. In the third hour, the temperature began to drop rapidly. People huddled together for warmth and shelter. The cold crept into every corner, and the darkness grew even more oppressive. By the fourth hour, scientists had confirmed that the sun had indeed disappeared. They hypothesized that it was due to a cosmic phenomenon, one which was beyond their current understanding. This news only fueled the growing panic. As the fifth hour came, the world's leaders addressed their people, urging calm and unity in the face of this unprecedented crisis. They promised to work together to find a solution and ensure humanity's survival. During the sixth and seventh hours, the temperature continued to plummet. The darkness seemed to swallow everything, and people began to lose hope. Many sought solace in prayer or the company of their loved ones. In the eighth hour, researchers around the world worked tirelessly, trying to find a way to restore the sun. They knew that without it, life on Earth would soon become impossible. By the ninth hour, people began to adapt to the darkness. They relied on artificial light sources and portable heaters to survive, conserving energy wherever possible. During the tenth hour, as the world adjusted to the new reality, the darkness brought forth a renewed sense of compassion and empathy among people. Individuals who had previously been distant neighbors or even strangers now found themselves relying on each other for warmth, food, and support. The challenges of the darkness helped break down barriers, as humanity recognized the importance of working together in the face of adversity. People shared their resources, skills, and knowledge, creating makeshift solutions to generate heat, conserve energy, and protect their families and communities from the cold. In the eleventh hour, the focus shifted towards the most vulnerable members of society, as rescue workers and volunteers tirelessly searched for those still trapped outside in the cold. They provided medical care, blankets, and temporary shelter for the homeless, the elderly, and those unable to fend for themselves. Acts of heroism and selflessness were evident everywhere, as people sacrificed their own comfort to ensure the safety and well-being of others. The spirit of cooperation and kindness seemed to be the only light in the dark world. During the twelfth hour, ingenuity and innovation took center stage, as people began to repurpose everyday items to survive the harsh conditions. Old car batteries were used to power essential electronics, while discarded materials were transformed into insulation for homes. The urgency of the situation forced everyone to think creatively, tapping into a resourcefulness that they never knew they possessed. This adaptation proved to be crucial in the hours to come. As the thirteenth hour arrived, communication networks were stretched to their limits. People from all corners of the globe shared their experiences, fears, and hopes through social media and other online platforms. Despite the darkness, the connections between people grew stronger. These virtual bonds not only provided emotional support but also fostered the exchange of ideas and potential solutions for the crisis at hand. The 14th hour saw a surge in grassroots efforts to provide aid and comfort to those in need. Community centers, schools, and places of worship became hubs of activity, offering warmth, shelter, and food to anyone who needed it. These spaces also became centers of learning, as scientists, engineers, and experts from various fields shared their knowledge with the public, empowering people to better face the challenges of the sunless world. During the 15th hour, as the world continued to grow colder, the importance of preserving and protecting the environment came into sharp focus. Many realized that even in the face of such a dire event, the Earth still provided resources that could be used to sustain life. This realization led to a renewed commitment to sustainable living, resource conservation, and environmental stewardship. The 16th hour marked a turning point in humanity's struggle against the darkness. The world's leading scientists, working in collaboration with researchers from various disciplines, began to make progress in their efforts to understand the cosmic phenomenon that had caused the sun's disappearance. 
They toiled day and night, fueled by the hope that their discoveries might one day help to restore light and warmth to the Earth. In the 17th hour, the scientific community made a critical breakthrough. They developed a theoretical model that could potentially explain the sun's disappearance and, more importantly, pave the way for its eventual return. This news, while still unproven, provided a glimmer of hope for billions of people around the globe, giving them the strength to endure the darkness just a little longer. During the 18th hour, as the cold continued to intensify, the world's governments and private organizations began to allocate resources towards the implementation of the scientific community's proposed solutions. With each passing hour, the stakes grew higher, and the urgency to restore the sun became more palpable. The world now had a plan, but the world's governments and private organizations began to allocate resources towards the implementation of the scientific community's proposed solutions. Specialized teams were assembled, and massive investments were made towards the construction of new infrastructure that could harness the Earth's resources to create a substitute for the sun. With each passing hour, the stakes grew higher, and the urgency to restore the sun became more palpable. The world now had a plan, but time was running out. During the 19th hour, the scientific community worked tirelessly to transform their theoretical models into a working prototype that could create an artificial sun. They had to work with extreme precision and efficiency, as every second counted. The prototype had to be capable of producing enough heat and light to sustain life on Earth, while also being environmentally sustainable. The entire world waited with bated breath, hoping that this new technology would work and bring back the light they had lost. As the 20th hour began, the world watched in awe as the artificial sun lit up the sky. It was not the same as the original sun, but it brought enough light and warmth to make life possible again. People cheered and cried, grateful for this small but significant victory. The dark world now had a source of light and hope, and humanity was filled with renewed vigor and determination. During the 21st hour, the engineers and technicians worked tirelessly to fine-tune the artificial sun. They had to ensure that it could operate effectively without damaging the Earth's ecosystem. Despite the immense pressure, they worked with incredible speed and efficiency, constantly making improvements to the technology. Every hour that passed saw the artificial sun shine a little brighter, and the world grew a little warmer. In the 22nd hour, the world's governments and private organizations continued to invest heavily in the artificial sun's infrastructure. They built new power plants, transmission lines, and energy storage facilities to ensure that the artificial sun could operate effectively and reliably. They also began to work on long-term solutions, such as developing new technologies that could help prevent a similar event from happening in the future. The 23rd hour was a time of celebration and reflection. People all over the world gathered to celebrate the return of the light, and to honor the countless individuals who had worked tirelessly to make it possible. They reflected on the lessons that they had learned during the dark days, and pledged to use this newfound appreciation for the sun and the environment to create a brighter and more sustainable future. In the 24th hour, the world was bathed in the warm glow of the artificial sun. The darkness that had once threatened to consume everything had been vanquished, and humanity had emerged stronger and more united than ever before. However, the work was far from over. The engineers and technicians continued to improve the artificial sun, seeking to make it even more efficient and sustainable. The governments and private organizations continued to invest in new infrastructure and technologies to support the artificial sun and mitigate the risk of similar events happening in the future. In the aftermath of the sun's disappearance, the world was forced to confront the harsh reality of just how reliant we are on this massive ball of fire. Our lives and the planet's ecosystem are inextricably linked to the sun's light, heat, and energy. Without it, the consequences would be catastrophic. If the sun were to disappear in a single day, the consequences would be unimaginable. Within hours, the Earth's temperature would plummet, leading to a global ice age. Crops would wither and die, causing a massive food shortage that would lead to widespread famine. The world's ecosystems would collapse, leading to mass extinctions of plants and animals. The very fabric of human civilization would unravel, as we struggle to survive in a world without light, heat, or energy. In the absence of the sun, humanity would be forced to live in a world of perpetual darkness and cold. The lack of sunlight would cause our bodies to produce less vitamin D, leading to a host of health problems. The darkness would also lead to a decrease in mental well-being, as people struggle to maintain their sense of purpose and hope in a world without light. In conclusion, 
The day the sun disappeared for 24 hours was a terrifying reminder of just how vulnerable we are as a species. It showed us that even the most fundamental aspect of our existence, such as the sun rising every morning, cannot be taken for granted. It is up to us to ensure that we are prepared for any eventuality and work together to protect our planet and ourselves. The sun may have returned, but we must never forget the lessons that we learned during those dark and uncertain hours. Until we meet again, farewell.